Hello guys and welcome back to another video of Architects 3DP. This week I'm bringing you a very quick project to the channel and it's gonna be kind of an update of an old video where I shown my camera gear a few months ago. For this video I've created a custom quick release plate optimized for my DSLR that is the Canon EOS 600D or T3i in the United States. I will link it in the description in case you want to buy it from our affiliate links in Amazon. I've made a couple adapters for both my aluminum tripod and my 3D printed mini tripod. Now I'm going to show you the design that I've made in Rhino and the final result printed in 3D. But before starting, make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel clicking here in this little icon in the bottom right corner of the video. If you do it, you will help me creating new content and growing the channel to reach more special viewers like you. As always, all the files used in this video will be available to download through our files repository at architects3dp.com slash files and will be linked down in the description as well. Recently I got a new job as an architect here in Spain and that's why this video is gonna be a bit short. Since I'm trying to adapt to uploads per week to my schedule, something that is gonna be very difficult and I think I will be forced to reduce it to one upload every Friday. As you can see in the Rhino file, the quick release plate will be composed of three parts. The first one will be the plate permanently attached to our camera. The second one will be the base where the plate will attach to. And the third and last piece will be the trigger that we will use to lock the plate in place. Here I have the pieces once printed and as you can see I have used black PLA for the base and orange PETG for the trigger and plate, since they will be moving pieces and the PETG is much more resistant. Apart from the printed parts, this time we will need some bolts and nuts that you will be able to buy in your hardware store. In total for the tripod quick release plate we are going to need all of them bolts and nuts M6 one hexagonal M6 nut, one M6 lock nut, one M6 bolt with flat head and 12 mm for the plate, one M6 bolt with flat head and 14 mm for the trigger, and another M6 bolt with hex head and 15 mm to attach the base to the tripod. Since we could not find M6 bolt with flat head that measured 12, 14 and 15 mm, we're gonna take some longer ones that we found in our garage and we're gonna cut them to length using the hacksaw. So we'll get the bolts of the perfect size. Now we're going to start with assembly and for that as you can see I've designed an embedded holes for the nuts so the process will be really easy. First we're going to insert the 14mm bolt into the trigger and the lock nut into the socket in the bottom of the base. Now we just have to put it in place like that and use our allen key or similar to insert it in place. We already have the moving part ready and now we're going to continue attaching our base to the tripod. So one more time we'll take the regular hex nut and insert it into the hole in the base like so. Then we'll pick the tripod and release the original thumb screw, since the thread of the tripod is a fourth of inch, similar but not exactly the same that the M6. Now we're gonna introduce the 15mm M6 hex bolt where the original thumb screw was inserted and we're gonna put the base with the embedded nut on top of it and finally screw it in place with the help of a pair of pliers. Last but not least, we just have to take the 12mm M6 bolt and insert it into the camera through the removable plate and voila! Here we have our new quick release system installed. Now as you can see, setting our camera in place will be much faster than before, with a simple movement of the lock. Ok, so that's one part of this week's project. Now I wanted to show you another use for this quick release plate, and this time I adapted to my 3D printer foldable tripod created by kernel770 and I downloaded it from Thinkiverse. You can download the files from the links in the description as well. For this use case, I adapted that piece by removing the hole that was attached to the tripod and instead I have added these two small legs that will screw into the mini tripod assembly, getting this result. For this gadget, you will also need a 14mm M6 screw with flat head and M6 lock nut. You will find the rest of the necessary hardware for the mini tripod in the original post on Thinkiverse that you will find linked down in the description. To finish, I just wanted to show you how easy it is now to change my camera from one tripod to the other, in just a few seconds. I will incorporate this quick release system to the fourth iteration of my motorized camera slider in the near future. Alright guys, so that has been everything for this episode. You will find the Amazon affiliate links to buy my camera gear attached down in the description, so don't have any doubt to buy all my accessories. And now stay tuned for the new content in the upcoming weeks, hit the like button, share the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel clicking here in this little icon. You can also follow us on social networks at Architects3DP to get the latest news 
And please consider supporting my work on Patreon to keep making this channel possible. Besides helping us and making us super happy, you will also get nice rewards that you can check in our Patreons page, navigating to patreon.com slash architects3dp or clicking in the link in the description. Okay, so as always, see you in the next video.